since the election, there's been some crazy things going on inside of the crypto market and inside of the stocks and commodities world, and for good reason. And in my opinion, you're not gonna see the craziness slow down anytime soon. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the top coins and what has happened to them since the presidential election in the United States. Some of them are absolutely crazy. Some of them you'll want to put on your watch list and other ones I'm just gonna give you fair warning about. Also, we're gonna be talking about XRP a little bit because it is now in the news because, well, the party that was just elected into the United States has family members that are now being introduced specifically to XRP. Hey everyone, my name is Randy. Welcome back to The Late Night Grind. Right now we are covering cryptocurrency news, investment markets, and personal finance. So if any or all those topics interest you, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join The Late Night Grind community. If you do a couple things, I'd appreciate it. Watch this video all the way to the end, and smash the thumbs up button. If you do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right guys, let's jump into it. So I wanted to show you this particular chart that I'm showing you right here. This is of a meme coin that came out. It is of course the coin called Trump MAGA. Now, running up to the election, this coin looks like it had a rug pull, and since early in the morning on November the 6th, it has since 45 x And this is the one that I want to give you fair warning about because, well, you could see essentially what could be another rug pull, although there is a ton of liquidity into it. But the craziness of it is it's not the only one. There's various Trump or MAGA coins that are all over the place. I would stay away from trading them unless you know what you're doing in the meme coin market. If not, just let it go. So in a little bit, I wanted to talk about some of the top five to 10 coins that are going bananas right now in terms of its interest and who's searching for them and why. But first I'm gonna talk about XRP and what the Trump camp is now being introduced to, to XRP. And I'm not sure if I agree with this or not, or if I'm really happy about this or not, I might be shaking a little bit on, I might be shaking a little bit on this news. But recently, another cryptocurrency YouTuber, one of the bigger ones you may have heard of, BitBoy Crypto, recently went on a, kind of an interview with Donald Trump Jr. And he was introducing Donald Jr. to basically the differences between Bitcoin and XRP, how he was explaining how they're essentially transfers of value, how the, the differences between them and how they work. And if you're in the Trump camp, I don't know if that's exactly uh, the person that you want explaining it to him. You might want to go to somebody who, oh, I don't know, actually created XRP, that being David Schwartz, who is Ripple's current CTO, maybe even Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple. They know a thing or two about blockchains, cross-border payments, and of course the new stable coins that are being introduced by Ripple and what they actually do. But the fact of the matter is that someone in the Trump camp is being introduced to XRP and explained to them means that they're probably reaching out for more clarification. Obviously the Trump camp has jumped into crypto seemingly head first, and of course being more pro cryptocurrency and crypto friendly in terms of a lighter touch regulation and things like that. So in my opinion, that's big news for XRP, especially now that you have Brad Garlinghouse coming out with a tweet that basically just said, listen, the past three and a half, four years have been maddeningly frustrating and it looks like these headwinds are turning into tailwinds. You can see uh, his full tweet, I retweeted it uh, on my X platform. I know I still call them tweets. It's a repost, a post, whatever it is. Uh, you can follow me on X, so that link is down below as well. And before we get into some of the top coins, I wanted to introduce you to another partner of the Late Night Grind, this being Blowfin. Blowfin is a cryptocurrency exchange where you can buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies. They offer leverage trading, they offer copy trading. If you were previously with Fairdesk, who was another partner of this channel, they were doing copy trading, so if you were a fan of that, you got used to doing it there, you can move some of your funds into Blowfin. They currently have copy traders right there. You can sign up, and when the cop and when the copy trader makes a trade, your account will essentially copy that trade and make the same trade. So there's a link in the description below. You can go and sign up and get up to a $300 bonus for signing up and depositing. So, so read those terms if you want to click the links. I will have all the links of all the partners of this channel linked in the description below as well as in the pinned comments. So if you would go and check that out, now is an interesting time to be in the market as Bitcoin hitting new all-time highs. A lot of people thinking altcoin season is now coming up next. You might want to get your accounts squared away, get your trades ready to roll, and keep an eye on this channel and several others to see which ones you're going to want to keep an eye on. Okay, so now that we got that squared away, I want to take a look at the top tokens that were searched in the past seven days on YouTube, CoinMarketCap, and some various other social platforms. And of course, since the election, some of these are going to make sense. Uh, and other ones you probably never heard of, but let's get into it. Number one is the coin that I already mentioned. Trump MAGA is up 45x since the, in about a day, really. Uh, if you put a thousand bucks into it before, you'd be up about $45,000. 
but buyer beware, it is a meme coin. Another one in the meme coin market, Jinpeng, J-I-N, has been surging recently. Number three, Bitcoin. Now, of course, this makes sense. It just hit all-time highs again today. It cracked 77,000, in my opinion. We're in a little bit of a consolidation as it is bull flagging, and it looks like it's gonna break out of that in the next day or two, or it could consolidate back down into the low 70s. But nonetheless, a lot of people searching for Bitcoin again. Number four, Solana, and number five, Ethereum. Now these are some of the uh, bigger market cap altcoins. They're kind of mainstays, so that's no surprising there. Number six, Grass. This is a newer one. This is another one that's a meme coin. It's an altcoin, buyer beware, but it is getting a lot of attention on social media, specifically X, you might wanna pay attention to it. Number seven, Dogecoin. Now it's always gonna be in these top 10 lists, especially now that Elon Musk, who loves talking about Doge, may be coming a part of this new uh, President Trump's administration as working with the Department of Government Efficiency, which of course stands for Doge. It's gonna be interesting to see what the price of Doge does along with the rest of the crypto markets, as I believe we're heading into a big bull market in 2025, if Doge is gonna mirror that with the altcoin season or if it's gonna break free a little bit and continue to run a little bit on its own pace. Number eight is XRP. This is between all of the social platforms, XRP is about is the eighth most searched cryptocurrency. However, the interview with Don Jr. and Bitcoin is getting some traction. Brad Garlinghouse is doing much more interviews, especially one he just did uh, on the BBC in Europe. Um, a lot of these other markets are wanting to see what Ripple is gonna do now that Gary Gensler look looks like he is not gonna be there to continue his war on crypto and continue specifically is war on Ripple. Number nine, Shina Ibu, and number ten, Sui. Now these have been now these have been ramping up searches for the past month or two as I've been tracking them. They are on the top ten list. You might want to keep an eye on them. If you have experience derivative trading or you want to trade them, go ahead, click the links in the description below. You can sign up for Blowfin, do some copy trading there, do some leverage trading. Uh, you may need a VPN for Blowfin depending on where you are located. If not, you can always use my other partner, BidFi, which is uh, US friendly and you won't need a VPN for that. Uh, no, KC, no KYC there as well. All right, guys, I thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end for smashing that thumbs up button. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.